Well, firstly, um, like most people, I'm a huge fan of the World Boxing Super Series. It's making the best fighters in the division fight each other, which is what the fans and what everyone wants to see, the best fight the best. So when there was whispers that it was the bantamweight division was going to be the next in line, me and my team straight away put our hand up and said we want to be involved. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for me. I could potentially fight and become the unified world champion and the number one bantamweight in the world within the next nine months or 12 months. It doesn't get any bigger than that so of course I want to be right in there amongst it. We've thrown a hand up, my management have been talking and we're very hopeful that, that it will happen. There's still no news yet, but they've only announced the three fighters and the three champions who are in the series at the moment, but there's eight, eight fighters to be in it and we're just fingers crossed that we'll be one of them. It, we believe that we've got it, what it takes to win, win the competition and I just want my opportunity to prove it. On Saturday night, I fought Kohi Kono from Japan, a two-time WBA world champion, and I was able to win by stoppage in the sixth round. Uh, there was a huge fight for me. I've just proved that I can beat a world champion and a former world champion, and now I need to prove that I can become a world champion myself, and hopefully we'll get that opportunity next fight. We think we are now one of the best band and weights in the world and we're, we're hoping to prove that. It is good to see that I was able to be the second man to stop him. Um, obviously he's fought some very good opponents and, and they haven't been able to do what I have. So, it, you know, it is a good confidence booster. Shows that I am right up there and can match it with, with the top guys and yeah, it gives us confidence moving forward that, that I'm certainly a force to reckon with it in the bantamweight division. Angelo Hyde is the best coach in the world. Matt, me and Angelo are so happy training under him and feel like we're making massive improvements since we've started training with him. Um, and he's got a very clear structure and system that you need to stick to and, and a system that works. So he was a little bit disappointed that I sort of went a bit off track and didn't follow the game plan to a T. Um, but he was only disappointed because he knows what I am capable of doing and he's seen what I can do in the gym and he just wants me to, to perform the best on fight night and show everyone what I'm capable of and he probably thought that I could have done a few things a little bit better but that's what I want, that's why we're going to keep improving so much because he's a perfectionist and I'm a perfectionist and even though we walked away with a win against a two-time world champion we're not just satisfied with that, we want to do better and better and better every fight and, and I can perform better than that. So we weren't completely happy but it's good to know that there's still room to move. I've just been a two-time world champion and I didn't perform at my absolute best so next fight I'll fight better and I'll fight a, probably a better opponent so I'll need to fight better and that's what we want. Myself as a fighter, I think I'm ready. I've, yeah, 17 fights, 17 and 0, 14 knockouts. You know, I haven't been really, really tested yet, which obviously you would think I would be tested against the world champion, so people might think it's too early, but this is the opportunity of a lifetime, and I know that if I get the opportunity to fight these guys, I'm going to give it absolutely everything I've got. I'm not going to go in there just to make up the numbers. We're going in this, in this competition to, to shock the world and to win. We believe we can win it and yeah, I just would love the opportunity to be a part of it.